all right uh, where is my yeah <coughs> put on uh, font size ki dekha jacche or do you, do you need it to be uh, zoomed in dekho i could go by 20 font size i think that's workable এখন ঠিক আছে That's not funny. Okay, never mind. So these are the eleven uh, divisions that I usually teach, uh, teach the syllabus by. So number six I have kept blank because that has that was discarded from the syllabus. So we are not gonna be <coughs> dealing with it. And uh, essentially, what is uh, so I'll be starting the uh, I'll be going in a sequence like this. I'm just giving you a small outline for what this chapters contain. And one of the key things that is very important for you to understand is that you cannot essentially forget or get rid of from your brain any of the stuff that you have already learned in, learned in your O levels. We'll be requiring them throughout our syllabus in different parts that be helpful. One of the key things that you, that I need you to appreciate in general is that in your O level syllabus there are a lot of chapters. We covered a lot of topics, but that exclusive content of a specific chapter was small. So this is something that I like to visualize something like that. You have a really wide amount of topics, but the depth or height of these topics are pretty small. In your A syllabus, <coughs> that would be compiling up. So you'll have a fewer chapters to work with, but you'd have to know much deeper into those chapters. The same thing gets more heightened in your A2 syllabus as well. There will be even fewer chapters, more more uh, less number of chapters but you'd have to know really much too deeper in, in into the into the ideas of those chapters that's how it usually works and uh and then uh, in your paper in your in your in your, in your, in your as paper you in your as syllabus you essentially have three papers paper one paper two and paper three uh, paper one is the mcq paper which i believe we can we can have a look at the uh asha you don't have to I can tell you by anyway. Uh, paper two, uh, paper one is the uh, MCQ paper. Achha, we have a, we have one and a uh, one one minute and one minute remaining. 
so I'm doing the stop share I'll start the meeting and see if you can join with the pre-existing link from the tab if I don't share a link because I'm gonna stop it immediately with uh, uh, just current meeting before before you run to the 40 minute mark so I'll close this you can rejoin in using the original link Short hook about the so easily. So this is one of the bypass thing that I picked up from YouTube, which is basically our knowledge base in many cases that the only way for unpaid versions that you can bypass the by bypass re money renaming and link and everything is that you can disconnect the uh, end the meeting before the 40 minutes mark and then if the host restarts the meeting once again that same link would work for another 40 minutes and this uh, this cycle can be uh, repeated for infinite number of times but if we do run to the 40 minutes mark then th then that link would be invalid then we have to just create a new meeting and share a new set of link so that's how it works so all back in the uh, process Twenty three people, twenty <coughs> four. Okay, so I was talking about the uh, number distribution and the time distribution of these things. Achha, for kids, for those of you who want to ha uh, ask any questions, you can uh, preferably uh, you can uh, unmute yourself and ask me a question, or you can raise your hand. I'll have the <coughs> dashboard over here. Dashboard then kothe by kore. Ita hote chat, or or you can write something over here for for me to see something if you want. Or hote participants a list of check and that should about do this Okay, so I'm the total paper as such a tinta to my I mean I'm just going through this because this is something that I do in the prime first class to get you an idea for what you are what is gonna happen uh, and then uh, we might have uh, the lecture for the actual first chapter for the last uh, 30 40 minutes or something like that so we have three papers paper one paper two and paper three pa paper one and paper two they are they'll be both one hour and 15 minutes of duration however they have a marked variation paper one is the mcq paper where you are going to answer 40 mcqs 40 marks and that has to be appeared in one hour 15 minutes so you you're going to have 75 minutes to answer 40 mcqs in paper 2 you'll be answering a 60 mark structured question so you'll have 60 mark of structured question to be answered in 1 hour 15 minutes that is one that is 75 minutes so in paper 2 almost effectively you can say uh, with, with a little bit of margin in your hand that you're gonna have your time distribution one is to one so if you have a question that has four marks in it you should not take more than four marks in it although there are there will be always some questions which can be answered in less than uh, one minute per mark for example if you have a definition if you have a simple formula <coughs> in many of the mathematical calculation if you are good with your practice and the question feel uh, is easy 
you'd be able to save a lot of time in those questions and there are also some questions where you would essentially require more than the number amount of minutes for example in cases where you're gonna have to do, do uh, 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 um, uh, area ca area calculation by calculating uh, grid boxes from a graph there are some really weird and time consuming process it's not difficult it's just meticulous and um, and if you make a small mistake halfway in the process in most cases you have to uh, st restart the whole process from the beginning once and that's why it's very difficult to i mean if you, you cannot lose attention so if there are certain kind of problems and there are some uh, uh, describe and explain questions which might contain three four marks you really have to think your answer through before you start writing uh, because you do not want to put in uh, wrong information uh, you can put redundant information that doesn't hurt but if you put wrong information you'll be penalized for those in most cases so in some questions you'll be saving time in some questions you'll be spending those times as well so you have to be, be quite dynamic to plan out your time frame that's a pretty important bit and paper 3 is essentially the lab which is a two hour exam you're gonna ha appear for two 20 mark questions uh, pair, uh, number one and number two and then uh, you'll have two hours one one experiment in each, each hour typically in the exam hall there are even number of students appearing for one batch or one session of lab lab uh, lab exam and let's say if there are 40 people who are appear to about who are supposed to appear a single uh, lab lab session lab 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 exam in a single lab then there will be 20 setups for question number one 20 setups for question number two so the students will be divided into two groups and how they will be divided you wouldn't know from earlier they might be divided in odd and even they might be even the, uh, divided in first half, first 20 and the second 20 they or they can be randomizedly div divided that depends upon the uh, hall invigilator of that day it will be divided into two groups and half of you are going to start number one half of you are going to start number two you're going to do that your experience in, in exactly for one hour at the one hour mark you will be at, at the one hour mark you'll be retracted back from your uh, apparatus setup and a lot of the invigilators will be personally observing you like looking at uh, at zoo animals so that you do not communicate amongst yourself while you stay away from the apparatus setup some other invigilators or hall instructors they're gonna go back to your apparatus setup and bring them to ground state ground state means that uh, they're gonna put everything back to their normal state so that the people so the kids would have to make the circuits once again i mean they're gonna bring down everything to normal they're gonna change the apparatus if they are supposed to change something or they are gonna replenish some used material which were supposed to be uh, finished in the lab process or something like that and so you're gonna have about let's say five to ten minutes of gap between question number one and question number two <coughs> and then you'll be sh uh, then you'll be swapped question number two people will be going to question number one people well, set up and two one people are gonna gonna go back to question number two people set up and then you're gonna complete the experiment and eventually you'll be taking the exam and that's a uh, 40 mark exam <coughs> which uh, happens in two hours of time two questions 20 marks each so we can already get you that is what was a quarter inch to allow Cori she don't say a say I'm a there all together marks for che P1 ने आमादेर marks होच्छे uh, 40 Paper 2 ते आमादेर marks होच्छे 60 Paper 3 ते आमादेर marks होच्छे 40 So altogether uh, you have a total of how much? 140 <coughs> Whereas in A2, we only have two papers. I mean, you need to know these stuffs. You might actually be able to, you might also be able to extract this information from the syllabus if you read it through on your own time. Many of the people don't. I, I usually don't. I wouldn't have read the syllabus if I was a student. I would just rely on the teacher's lecture. So that's why I prefer to de discuss about these stuffs on the first day of the class. So if you are feeling bothered or bored or feeling, feeling like that I'm killing up your time, you are very much welcome to leave. No big deal. So <coughs> in A2, we have two papers. We have a paper four, uh, which has a 100 mark exam, and uh, which is to be appeared in two hours. So you have 120 minutes to answer a 100 mark exam, which is a really long exam. It takes a lot of perseverance to even sit through it. So the mock process are really important. And then we have a P5, which has a mark of only 30. Now this is the big information that you need to understand. You can, what you can see over here that if we do the sum, <coughs> what you 
or you can see over here yeah, that if, if, if we do the sum in this case you can see that both of the total sum of the marks are not equal AS has a total marks raw marks of 140 and A2 has a total raw marks of 130 the way it works for the final grading system typically I mean disregard the situation of the COVID COVID is a exception so COVID is dealing with us we are dealing with COVID so it's working like that so the way typically the system uh, the, the way marking works is that this 140 percent will be converted to 50 percent of your total marks in your A levels so this would be 50 percent and this would be your another 50 percent So what, why this is uh, important for you to understand? One of the key parts that I need you to really understand is that in here, you can see that 140 marks converting to 50% is gonna give you a total actual mark, which you call the evaluated mark, or we call the, sometimes called the uh, 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 actual person, actual, actual, it's not called raw mark, evaluated, I think it's called evaluated mark, I forgot the term, anyway. I mean, in your total, result of your A levels, AS is going to contribute 50%, A2 is going to convert contribute 50%, but AS 50% will come from a total raw marks of 140 marks, whereas A2 uh, will have a total raw mark of 130 marks, because A2 has a smaller mark, but attributing towards the equal number of percentage, that's why typically some people would say, I also agree, that A2 results affect more in your total A levels result compared to AS results because that 140% gets converted into 50% and here 130% gets converted into uh, 50% which means that if you make if we make a total marks over here how much total marks do we have we have a total marks of 270 so we have a total marks of 270 out of 270 AS is gonna provide 140 out of 270 and A2 is going to provide 130 out of 270 and which will be each of these marks will be converted to 50% and then they will be merged together. So there is a little bit of difference in the marks distribution so they are not exactly equal. This is something that I need you to know that so that you don't feel confused about this but this is something really not important for you to take into consideration for that okay fine I'll be studying less hard in AS and then I'll be studying more hard in A2 that shouldn't happen that is not ideal. You should study equally hard in both of your levels. One of the key parts that I really want to mention is that AS is a difficult letter part. I mean, this is essentially true for all the papers where you have you have to go through a lot of different papers. That if you really want to get a good result, for example, let me uh, let me give you a simple example, mathematical example. Tumra all levels probability course Did you guys do probability? You can say yes or you can write yes in the chat. Uh, whatever you, whatever works for you. Okay, I heard three. I can see three, three chat replies. Okay, so all of you can hear me clearly, right? Okay. Yeah. This is Noni Dabu. Yes, Noni Dabu, read me what you Where did it read me go? You kids, you kids have done probability in your level. So let me ask you a very simple question. S try to work this through in your head. Let's say you are going to sit for an MCQ exam where each of the MCQ question have four options, A, B, C, or D. And there are 40 questions in the MCQ exam. What is the mathematical probability of scoring a full marks in this exam? Did you get my question? Suppose you want to speak something. Yeah, go ahead. You can. I have to unmute you. Yeah, Sabusi, go ahead. No, sir, nothing, nothing at all. It was just a mistake. Ah, sorry, okay. So, drop all hands. So the question that I'm asking you: You have an MCQ test where you. Uh, have 40 MCQs, each of the MCQ questions have 4 options. My question is, what is the mathematical probability for you to score full marks in this MCQ exam? One of your friends wrote 1 by 40. Uh, okay, let's say that's one answer that we have. 
I'm not. I'm gonna comment on this whether it's correct or not later on. Yes. That happens to be a correct response. It's a cable, sir. तो नाम की मुस्तासिन जहर जारीफ अच्छा so exactly Zarif and Zawad uh, the two answers that you have given that is correct so what this what the correct response for this question looks something like this let me just put it this way whenever you have exclusive probability exclusive probability means that you are going to have to have happen something where both of the things have to happen simultaneously they are not optional to each other in those cases we have to multiply the individual probability of those things if you have to find out the all probability then you would have to add those individual probabilities for example uh, uh, for example na ekhon jodi ami ekta certain mcq exam e total 40 out of 40 score korte chai which means i have to score one mark in number 1 i have to make that one correct i have to make two one correct and i have to make three correct and i have to make four correct and I, and i have to make five correct and i have to make all of them correct so all of them has to be correct simultaneously you cannot miss even one of them which means the individual probability for one of them cq to be correct is 1 by 4 what i'm writing over here and then you will have to multiply 1 by 4 up to how many times 50 times 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into 1 by into, into 1 by 4 it goes on like that so essentially speaking the mathematical probability is something like this that is a mathematical probability for scoring 40 out of 40 in an MCQ test if you appear for the test blind floor led. you have I mean, you are just gonna do any mini many more you, you're not even gonna do that you're just gonna tick anything that you feel like taking okay, I'm having a bit of a noise so I'm gonna mute all of you uh, if you have any question you uh, you unmute yourself and then you talk about talk, talk about it so this is so this is the mathematical probability which is very very small a kathadami can one lami kathadami main reason to say if you want to have good result in your as level it is imperative that you have to do good in all three of your papers it's not it's not going to be a good result or it's not going to be up to your expectation result let's say to me as a paper one at 40 day 38 pila Paper two the gear to meet a double mala. Paper two to me the head for sixty to me pile of forty eight, but sixty to me forty, but forty five, forty two mother mass pila. PT the gear forty the hell of them thirty five ticket. So, Tinta Milejo Hotom ever is the last way how the head to me marginally at a piso. Maybe you got eighty one, eighty two percent. You have to, or even if you even mess up one of those papers, it is quite likely your entire result is gonna plummet. This is also very much similar to one more physical example. So you don't have the experience for the board exam result. But let me just put it this way. If in your all of us you have a total number of let's say six subjects, you, uh, six or seven. What is the most common number of subjects? I think eight. Eight. Do you guess most of you have eight? Seven is common. I want to join. I already knocked you on Messenger. As I have a Sally. May I do it to this class? Yes, you're welcome. Yes, thank you, sir. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, we don't have the uh, waiting room open which means uh, everyone is welcome to join uh, in some of the classes I'll have the waiting room open so in those cases I'll use some discrepancy to let who, who people in or who people not uh, but yeah please uh, uh, be here so if you have let's say if you if you have let's say seven subjects in your O levels and you sit for all of the papers of all of those exams okay to have a nice memorable good memorable day on your result day you need to have good results on all of those subjects. Let's say if it so happens that you are to be able to do it, you are going to be able to You are going to cry out loud through the entire of that day in most cases and you will not be able to forget them. And people getting around close to you, they are not going to come and close. Uh, in most cases, they are, they are not going to come and say congratulations. They are going to say, what do you say? What do you say? So it's not going to be a straight up compliment. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So the, the the reason I'm pulling up these points is that it is important that if you want to have a total good result, you have to be you have to do good in all of those papers individually. Only then can you make sure that your total result is good. So to me, paper one could bhalo paro, paper two the double mark the sun, you're feeling like paper one then pasko bhalo result kore jabo. No, that's not gonna happen. Or if you feel like that I mean paper two on a bhalo pari, paper one bhalo pari, lab class kono mote ekta berasala kore dila hoye galo. You might as well lose your grade A. So you, so the point, the, the reason I'm telling you these stuff is to give you the sense of urgency to be individually good in all of those papers. If you know that you are weak in some paper, if you know that, if you find out eventually in the process that MCQs bother you a lot or paper two bothers you a lot, you are good with MCQs, whatever you detect that you are weak at, employ more time to that paper, employ more time to that subject get busy with that subject you can you have to be tenacious and 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 what industrious and uh, perseverant in the face of difficulties only then can you expect a good result i mean subsiding the problem is easy we always do that every once in a while it's allowed i i uh, we all do that i also do that i mean bhal lagta sen han porbona thik ache ki korlam dui ghonta game khellam thik ache ba ekta movie dekhlam ba or something like that okay you can have lapses which is okay which we are human beings but Deep in your head, in the back of your head, you should always remember that this is something that I am weak at and I need to invest in more time into this subject, more time into this topic. Only then can you come better. Otherwise, you can never come better. So please try and remember this information. Our art and English was our classes are basically due to rule us. Act number rule was here. Uh, well, I, I'd say three rule, but let's say there is zero number rule, which doesn't count, which actually counts as a most primary rule. First of all, you have to maintain decency. Now, decency is a pretty vague word, so I'm not going to go and ahead and elaborate this. Behave human-like and civilized people-like. I'm talking about physical classes and also in, in, in our, uh, since we don't have physical classes right now, we only have a messenger group chat, so behave there. I mean, sharing memes is okay. Sharing, uh, uh, sharing uh, what? Uh, giving emoticons is okay. But don't talk beyond your boundaries. Don't hurt someone. Don't call someone tito kala. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing anything that can possibly hurt someone else's personal feeling. I mean, if you want to pacify us whole, as we all Bangladeshis are fat. <laughs> That works in a way, but don't ever do personal attacks, at least not on my watch. You'll be, you'll regret that. So behave. That's point one. Point zero actually. And the other two things are very simple. Act number point I would say, I encourage all sorts of questions in my class. One of the key reasons any student can ask a question or is willing to ask a question is that they are indulging themselves into the process they are concentrating they are thinking because they are thinking because they are trying to involve themselves within the class that's why they have questions so i welcome all questions in my class there are no questions that is too silly only answers can be silly so you are welcome to ask all sorts of questions really relevant to the topic relevant to the topic is a pretty big thing i mean let's say i'm, I'm teaching you projectile motion and suddenly you ask that's also a question but it is not relevant so try to keep within the uh, within the topic that's important the so do ask me questions it's very important that you ask me questions every single time you feel you have some questions that you need to be answered with and it's also very important that if you, uh, it's also important for you to understand that there are two ways i can be of help kids ekta jinish khub bhalo kore bujhe tumra all over so oneke coaching kore ascho so you know this stuff already but i'm just trying to remind you refresh your memories a little bit you kids are here with me because you need additional help all the stuff that i'm going to teach you is there is nothing that i created from my own brain i'm just a you can say in one way i'm just a more efficient delivery system that's all that i am i'm going to tell you I'm going to give you some worksheet. I'm going to give you readily available solutions to your problems. I'm going to try and achieve that for you. But at the end of the day, worksheet will be done. Topic will be done. Answer will be written. Result will be 
I can only help you. Your parents can only help you. Your friends can only help you to make that journey easier. But we cannot make that journey for you. So if you are not willing to do good results, no force in the world, nobody in the world can make you do good results. It's not going to happen. Ever. This will not happen. Period. So you have to want it. You have to really wish for it. You have to really be prepared to sacrifice some of your other uh, other important stuffs to or for it. So, I mean, tomorrow they can choose which one to pursue. Now, they can say, "No, you just do eight hours. Tomorrow they can choose which one to pursue. Now, they can say, 'No, you daily one subject, one hour. Tomorrow they can do more.' I'm happy." যদি এক্সাক্টলি এভাবে পড়া পসিবল না হয় ফাইন ঠিক আছে তুমি উইকলি দুদিন ফিজিক্স পড়ো দুদিন দুদিন ফিজ দুদিন তুমি ফিজিক্স তিন ঘন্টা করে পড়ো দ্যাটস পারফেক্টলি গুড টেক ওয়ান টেক ওয়ান ডে ব্যাক ওয়ান ডে ব্রেক ইটস ওকে বাট তুমি যতক্ষণ পড়বা ইউ হ্যাভ টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ওয়ান থিং যে আমি বই খাতা নিয়ে বসে আসি বসে বসে আমি বইয়ের ভিতরে ঢুকে ঢুকে মেসেঞ্জার চ্যাট করতেছি স্ন্যাপচ্যাট চ্যাট করছি ইনস্টাগ্রামে আমি মিম শেয়ার করতেছি অ্যান্ড ব্লা 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 ইয়া ইট লুকস লাইক ইউ আর স্টার্টিং বাট হু আর ইউ ডিসিভিং না তুমি ঠিক মতন মোবাইল চালানোর প্রিভিলেজ পেতেছ না তুমি ঠিক মতন পড়াশোনা করতেছ লাভের মধ্যে লাভ কী পেতেছ ইউ আর হ্যাভিং এ থ্রিল অফ অফ ডুইং সামথিং ইন সিক্রেট বাট ইজ ইট রিয়েলি হেল্পফুল ইজ ইট রিয়েলি ফ্রুটফুল অর ইন ইন এনি ওয়ে ইন মাই অপিনিয়ন নো ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু হ্যাভ সাম টাইম অন ইউর ওন ইয়েস গেট সাম টাইম অন ইউর ওন হ্যাভ সাম ব্রেক ডু সাম ইনস্টাগ্রাম পোস্ট ডু সাম ফেসবুকিং ডু সাম গেমিং ডু ইউর ওন শেড হোয়াট এভার হোয়াট এভার আনস ফর ইউ ডু সাম পেন্টিং অর সাম পিপল ডু সাম এনিমে ড্রয়িং অর হোয়াট এভার ওয়ার্কস ফর ইউ Take a break, but don't take a very long break. Get back to the process. I mean, I am starting to study the character simple example. Boy, this, 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 this next thing that I'm gonna that I'm about to tell you might sound a bit scary, but I really want you to appreciate the point of this thing. Okay. So, so I am a short ballpen ballpen column. Did you see? So, the ballpen column is what you know. Typically, I am a J column. Did you see? Not fountain pens. Ballpen ballpen pens. All ballpen pens are one time use pens which means that you buy it if you don't waste it by some accident over its usage period you eventually finish it and you get rid of it let's say you just bought a new ballpoint pen you use it for let's say about uh, one week or so and then it falls off of your hand onto the ground and then you pick it up and try to write with it again let's say it's not running running smooth it's giving you dot 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 lines which happens pretty often and then what what is it that we do the first thing most of us do is that we give it a bit of a shake we really shake the pen to make it good and then uh, we try to write with it again <laughs> if it doesn't write it good then we either immediately get rid of the pen we throw it away like it's done for it's not to get it like that or some of us might try it couple of more times and eventually if the pen does not write continuously it has everything possible everything in it it has the ink it has the plastic body it has the ballpoint pen nib only it is writing but it's not writing properly ink is coming out but not the way you want it to come out so we dis- discard it we just throw it away now because that pen is not doing what it is supposed to do it is not writing the way we want it to write Now let me ask all of you this question and I want you to answer this either verbally or in the chat window everyone what is it that is your occupation what is it that your purpose I mean what, uh, if you are about to fill a form what do you write under the heading occupation what do you write fill order Okay. That's most of the anonymous uh my unanimous uh, answer that you write student which essentially mean that your purpose is to study. So if you're not fulfilling your purpose, if you're not studying, then what should be done with you? It you should be dealt in the same way a ballpoint pen should be dealt with. You should be thrown away. You should be got rid of. Now you might wonder that doesn't sound right <coughs> yes it doesn't sound right because you are made to believe a wrong thing many of you believe that you are not disposable believe me you are disposable i am disposable 
as long as you do not serve the purpose that you are designed for that you are aimed to and that you are looked upon for you are useless anyone who is useless anything that is useless is get rid of by by the by the by by, by whatever that is relevant for the for, for in in the case what is going to happen if you don't study well your friends will be friends with you for some time till you can do chill and everything soon they are going to pass over to higher classes and you're going to fail or you're going to have poor results and your friends who used to do good results wouldn't like to mix with you that much because you don't apparently belong to their class okay that has to be oops 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 sorry this anonymity option has to be stopped every single time yes sir okay then i'm gonna put this one first so that anytime you anonate i can see who that is and i'm gonna do that as well don't anonymize it on the on the screen unless you have to. If you do, I don't know how you can find this out, but don't. Generally, you don't. You don't. You don't need to anonymize it on the screen. This is not your class. I'm having the class. If you have a question, you ask me. If you want me to write anything, I'll write it for you. Don't be no big deal. But don't prefer be anonymized on the screen. So people are gonna get rid of you. People are gonna get away from you. Uh, your friends are gonna be seniors. They're gonna become better students, and eventually you will be left alone. The only group of people who are who cannot get rid of you and believe me on this one are your parents they are stuck with you they cannot get rid of you they are pretty much like the pencil box where you keep all of your shit they cannot get rid of you so they're gonna be there for you even no matter how poor or how bad you are they're just gonna be disappointed in you they're just gonna be very much feel wasted in you so, apart from those two people, if they are alive, everyone else in the world, and I mean everyone else in the world, can discard you, can get rid of you, can throw you away, can, can denounce your presence, your existence. It's possible. If you don't serve your purpose, and this is not essentially for being a student. I mean, you are a student now, eventually you will become something else. You'll become something else and else. You'll become. Uh, you sometimes you'll become a boss. Sometimes you'll become an employee. Sometimes you'll become a husband. You'll become a wife. You'll become a lover. You'll become a father. You'll become a mother. You become. Uh, you make a promise to someone. Then you are a bearer of words. You you can become a lot of stuff. But as long as you don't serve your purpose that you are aimed to do, you are designed to do, or you are expected to do, you are valueless. So it's important that you understand what that means. So. It is at your own interest that you should study. Amake on a show, parents are a Jihonic issue, Jinish Koto Bolenje, Sir Bachara Pane Kuposhon Dogore, Apna Batsake, Gulegule to Bujai Bulben, Amarka Sunena, Amar Stekalagare, Kore, and ten 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 on a kitchen. I try in most cases to listen to these parents very, very calmly, but deep down inside, I feel very angry. And at the same time, lost for these parents. I mean, let me put it this way: if I mean, the parents provide for their kids, they buy them food, shelter, uh, cell phone, cell phone balance, uh, everything that they require for their lifestyle, they buy those stuffs. You are providing the entire supply chain to keep your kids healthy, wealthy, good-looking, and well. Uh, I mean, well assorted and everything, and you cannot make them listen to your words. I mean, that's like what? That's that's weird. You, I mean, one of the main reasons that kids usually li like me. I'm not boasting myself. I'm just saying you the truth, telling you the truth, is that because I I I, I mix with my students at the level they are. I talk about stuffs that. Typically, parents would never talk to their kids with that. But for example, I talk about, uh, I talk about, uh, what is the name of this character? Shin-chan. In my classes, I talk about Shin-chan. 
uh, in my classes I talk about uh, weird stuffs that a parent would usually not uh, talk to uh, uh, talk with their kids so these kind of things I do because I, I because I know that these are the things that actually ring a bell with the kids and the kids like me usually usually so and now and shop parents are okay possible now so what I would personally recommend you is that whether you really like your parents or not at least try to appreciate the effect that they have on you try to appreciate try to understand the fact that if you lose even one of your parents if they just become absent from your life from this day onwards how your life would change just think about this think about all the stuff that they do for you and be grateful for it and in return all they ask ask from you is that you study well and that's not even for themselves that's for you so try to think of these stuff i mean you kids are growing up and eventually you'll be growing up more and more and there'll be less and less people to tell you these stuff but it's important that you know the know these stuff before you grow up altogether one of the one of the course that i really like uh, that i came across in one of my students's house when when I, I went to their house for the first time is that there was a quote on 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 on, on, on one of the walls of of that student's room is that that say that growing old is compulsory but growing up is optional six words very deep i say it again growing old is compulsory but growing up is optional you can choose not to grow up and that's the wrong thing to do but you can never stop time you will age do i make sense to most of you or to any of you can you give me some i mean i cannot see your faces usually i can see the faces of you kids in the class and i know how much can i actually tra transcend does it anyhow make sense to you all right i i really appreciate your response I hope I'm not bothering or irritating or killing any of your time. If any of you feel like that, you are seriously welcome to leave. I'm not gonna hold you back uh, because this is an online classroom. I don't have any control. <laughs> I don't. Ha I re literally don't have any control on whether you're gonna be present in this classroom or not. Uh, so you have to be present in here. You have to show up in here on time at on your own accord. That's also another one of the reasons that I'm blabbering all of this stuff. That physically to the class today it's possible for your parents to pull you up and eventually take drop down to your coaching so that you do the classes but for your online class schedules you have to know when your classes are and you have to be in the proper uh, facebook pages of proper messenger groups to look up for the links that you should join the classes and be able to do the classes however uh, additional to that i'll be uploading all of my lectures including today's today's lecture as well in in my youtube channel so you can look those up as well so I talked about two of the rules so that I I usually follow in my room. There is the third one. So the zero number rule was that be decent. Number two was that number one was that ask all sorts of relevant questions. All questions are welcome. And number three is that I usually talk quite fast and my regular normal voice speed is like this. And uh, this is something that I cannot control what I have seen in the past that if I try to control my speed willingly I tend to lose the pace of my lecture so every once in a while I keep asking the student that it will keep them and everything like that so I mean a significant part of my brain get occupied to slowing down my uh, speed uh, thank you thanks for reminding me Tazif, uh, we'll gonna, we will di I'll disconnect when it shows us uh, less than one minute in a bit so anytime if you feel like that I'm talking too fast you need me to slow down you need me to repeat anything you always ask me to repeat this is always welcome this is not offending to me I know that I have this problem I am upfront about it that I have this problem that I cannot talk slowly so if you need me to slow down if you need me to re-explain something 
or let's say I am speaking already quite fast and I'm halfway in the topic trying to explain something and you feel like that this speed is not working for you in the halfway in the lecture halfway in my sentence you just say or you raise your hand and immediately speak out immediately speak out that sir to slowly volume you don't wait for me to finish because that way all of that time that I'll be taking to finish that sentence would be wasted in vain so I'm disconnecting the meeting and then uh, we'll uh, uh, and, and rejoin back Okay, what I did was that I left and I rejoined. Did it reset our time? I did not end the meeting for everyone. I just left and I rejoined. So what happened here? Okay. Because this to go now. Hello? Where is my meeting? Where did Zoom go? Is everyone in? Uh, can you access it properly? Admit all. Okay. Okay, that's the first step and then this is the second step can everybody hear me right yes sir okay. zoom in audio quality on a I mean I am really impressed if, uh, compared to this dis, uh, discord that discord it chate zoom in audio quality and video quality transmission is um, noise on a com and it's really smooth compared to discord discord a kichu kichu noise hai plus region settings but this seems to be working out really 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 nice it's good it's good it's good it's good i'm really new to zoom this is the third class that i'm taking in zoom uh, i had your introduction class then i took one class with the class 10 people yesterday and then i'm taking this one as my third class and quite satisfied with the service nice might as well subscribe for the paid version once i start having money from you <laughs> just kidding anyway so the third point that I was talking about is that you can ask me and you can stop halfway in my sentence no big deal anytime if you need me to slow down while I'm explaining something to you this is really important for all of for all of us uh, at this point this would be a good point I mean I don't know what I'm going to do I'm going to do a simple thing I'm going to do a Facebook ID I'm going to do a Google uh, Gmail ID use Zoom it looks so well and good uh, what I would like to to have a cane can make origin a yakora jay money a j home a gale a cane that out to one dick to show I so a cane on a gula different different contract a second a channel I met a genius says so I wanted to make a for us a CIS physics channel where I wanted to add a lot of people but I haven't figured this out properly so do you guys know how to how to how to figure how to work this any of you are any of you proficient in the zoom interface 
I mean, I would appreciate pretty much like in the Discord app, we have all the people added to a certain channel so that it's easier for us to access everyone and see who of them is one and who is not. I would like to add people over here. I could add one person in the uh, A2 channel. Uh, who is this one uh, which who is supposed to be in a2 channel, but I don't I, I couldn't figure out how to add more people over here Okay uh, If I go for this I have a lot of people over here, but all of these people are from my a2 batch Anyway, I'll I'll I'll, I'll hope I hope I hope to figure this out a, a in near future so we can have a better uh, workability because I I will eventually have to take attendance of you kids that KK class school or KK class school or because I really need that for future discussion. Our our students tomorrow they will be able to record all lecture. So this is my recording uh, software, which is record tool that says ShareX. So uh, and I'll upload them in my YouTube channel. Any single time, if you have missed a portion of the lecture, uh, you join late or you have to leave early because some of you, one of your uh, other sirs gave you an extra class and you had to shift there, or you forget about the class altogether, slept through the whole time, and eventually you recall the hi, Shomanth Fazal class chilo. You can always uh, go to the YouTube channel, uh, see the lecture through, and if you have any questions about the channel, you can uh, it, uh, you can take the timestamp and ask me questions about that uh, topic uh, to me in the personal message feed of my uh, Facebook inbox that works for me i'll try to respond to you as best as i can but preferably try to make this a habit uh, this is for only times where you cannot essentially do the class or you have mistakenly not willingly uh, uh, forgot to do the class so that's another thing uh, i'd like to take some questions from you if any of you have any questions to ask me this would be a good time anything that you would like to ask me if you have any question You can ask me questions about me. You can ask questions me. Ask questions about my kittens. Sir. Yes. The paper five. Paper five. Ta uh, paper five is an alternative to practical type of question. Uh, paper five. It. Amader usually jeta tha ke. Shita hote chhe. We have. Uh, I mean, basic. Do the question the paper five. Question number one. Question number two. Question number one is something like. You are given a practical problem. So, a practical problem is evaluation of the journal at a lab setup. The lab setup is a lab setup. It's 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 a lab setup. I, I I don't I don't I I don't uh, I don't uh, 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 celebrate my birthdays like all the other people. Uh, I I I really don't like uh, like the concept that a typical birthday goes by. But uh, I did take birth in one of the places. I, I don't want to make this information public. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Shormili. I cannot answer you this question in a public channel. Uh, you might ask me in my messenger inbox. I might tell you there, but not in public, please. I'm sorry. Sir, is an MCQ the key on a full answer to give on it? After we see. Nah, nah, nah. Every single time you will only have one card answer and only one card answer. There would be no MCQ which have two card answers, there would be no MCQ which has blank answers. So, I can't answer the way like that. 40 MCQ, you know, 40 answer to me choose Korba. And some and on a you might not have I'm a discussion to ask this year, just wait a bit, JJ question the course. So I I you might have you might not have the exact best exact correct answer that you are looking for. In that case, you you will have to use your judgment to choose the best answer. Kichush MC was a com J Chop Gular Mode Konota correct option na kin to make a judgment is by Kurta Kunta closest to correct. Yeah, paper four is in A two and paper uh, paper four is A two paper two. Yes, yes, that's the structured question. Two hour written exam. Yes, Nazif. As a P five digital slam question number one, you have a simple experiment. Kora jono kisu ekta idea di diye. Je mano ko tomake bollo je simple pen lam use kore tomake arthe gravitational field change G measure korte hobe. Ham tumi experiment kiya korba. 
you would have to write about how to set up the apparatus, what measurements to be taken, measurement ne ne shomu kiki kiki careful nijish ne careful thakar lagbe, typical dimension gula kiri kom hoyte pare, precautions kiki hoyte pare so that we do not get our human injured, we do not cannot do not get our uh, apparatus damaged. Mane toma ke ekta full experiment kiba be physically kora possible with laboratory available ex uh, equipments, with laboratory. Uh, uh, huh? Yeah, this is the this is the planning question. So uh, planning and execution question. So it was a question number one, which has a 15 marks to it. You usually have to draw a pretty detailed diagram, preferably, and you have to go through the process of this whole description. And in the in the question number two, you are given a whole data set of an previously done uh, done experiment. And from that data set, you will have to do some rigorous calculation to come up with some mathematical uh, mathematical uh, uh, data output. So the question number two is a very a mechanical question. Mechanical in the sense, I mean that it, there is a very specific go through process for all of these questions. As long as you know how to work out the math and how to draw a good graph, you are pretty much covered for question number two. Question number two, ta I to korte ek to beshi kosto hoy. Karon hoche question number two ta the drawing ek kicho bepara se. Many of the kids are not very uh, do not very like. Man, many of the kids, as far as my experience goes, don't like to do graphs very well. But once you get to understand how to do question number two, question number two will be the easiest for you to answer in paper five. Paper five total duration hoche one hour fifteen minutes by the way, or one hour. अच्छा मैं भूलेगी सिर्फ बस ऐसे हाल गया। I think one or fifteen minutes। so typically हमें सुनने के लिए जितना बोली, शेरा होती है जब paper two paper five है, typically question number two टाइम के आंसर करार जोन नो, which you can answer in less than thirty minutes if you are proficient to edit। if you are not proficient to edit, there is no time limit। I mean you can get stuck at a single point forever। so you can answer the question number two with a small amount of time, then you take the longest available time that you have left to all together think and plan through your question number one। मामून, इधर तो बारिकोड़ दातो। ए टू ते लैब ना है क्या नो आ ए टू ते वो ही पेपर फाइव टा होच्छे लैब एक टा अल्टरनेटिव वर्शन यू आर आस्ट टू परफॉर्म आ लैब एक्सपेर यू आर यू आर यू हैव टू राइट ए मैनुअल फॉर ए सर्टेन लैब एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड आल्सो यू हैव टू बी एबल टू शो सम रियली गुड प्रोफिशिएंसी Duita Abidal by day and recently I got two more kittens. They are here. Sir, I didn't have P3 in all levels. Will all levels lab be hard? Not essentially. Not essentially. I'm, I'm using the word not essentially because is that I mean, jader all levels say lab chilo, tader equipment proceed equipment handling ne already kichu experience athe. So they're gonna have some slight advantage over the people who did not have p have a lab in your in their O levels. But A level said your lab, A said your lab syllabus. Sheta I'm gonna have a design kora. Je you can literally start learning from ground up. Tomar ki equipment equipment introduction thik shuru kore data calculation jaja ase. Shob gulay tumi A level A se procedure er modde perfectly shiki filter parba. We have a design kora syllabus ta. So if you are careful and if you are not slacking too much, there wouldn't be much problem. But if you feel like from the very beginning that I'm into a jara level CP to shoot at the beginning of my given of our one. If you start believing that, then you can never get it. Do I make sense? Yes, sir. Samira Hawk, do you ask this question? Did it make sense? Yes, okay. My kittens don't have any name. It's a difficult process to um, cats to remember their names. I mean, it's a difficult training process. I usually never go by that. I call them by random names every once in a while, whatever comes to my mouth at that point, whatever I feel like calling them. Uh, yep. Anything else? <coughs> okay. Okay. Uh, if you have any more question, you, you can pop, pop 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 it by me. Uh, if, any, any other time, no big deal. Don't mm. forget PDF to DC Messenger group. PDF to Namaste Shobai. Shuno, pola mandu mande kita jinish bolii. Messenger group pe ekta boro problem hote se je chat kore likha je jinish gula thake shi gula khub easily upor chole jai. So lots of the stuffs get lost in the whole chat window if you're trying to find out something that was shared earlier it might be difficult for you to find come around so the 
more efficient system, not essentially the efficient system, the more efficient system that I came across is that any important information uh, or any important documents, I usually uh, all, all usually try to, to, to share them in image format or in some file format. If you go in your uh, in your chat window and eventually you drop all the way down, you'll find all those stuffs over here. You here we have shared files and then here we have the shared images. routine so typically all of these stuff should be available here. So uh, other than going to the entire browser window to look up for the necessary information that you're looking for, it is in most cases helpful if you have all of these stuff preferably over here. Do I make sense? I hope I do. So how many people do we have? We have 44 people. So that's a good number. So uh, I'm gonna start uh, uh, giving the uh, first lecture for today for, for the first chapter. So which is so I'm gonna start the uh, discussion for the first chapter, which is physical quantities and measurement. So beauty of this course class is that online classes is that we don't have to preferably write anything. We don't have to preferably write anything, but in some cases we might have to. So kishu jodi tomar likhtam tomar the Google show me what the dibo. আচ্ছা আমি এই পিডিএফটা অন করছি আপাতত তোমরা তোমাদের নিজে যদি পিডিএফ অন না করে আমার ভিডিও ফিডটাই দেখতে থাকো যদি তোমাদের কাছে পিডিএফটা আছে এভরি ইন সিঙ্গেল টাইম ইউ নিড টু ডিসকাস দ্য পিডিএফ ইউ ক্যান গো বাই ইয়ার ওন পিডিএফ ফর দ্য টাইমিং অবজার্ভ দ্য অবজার্ভ দ্য ভিডিও ফিড অ্যান্ড আই অলসো ক্যান হ্যাভ দ্য জুম জুম চ্যাট অন দ্য রাইট ওভার হিয়ার ইন অন দ্য টপ সো দ্যাট ইফ এনি অফ ইউ রাইট এনি কোয়েশন আদার দেন টকিং টু মি আই ক্যান অলসো সি দ্যাট দ্য ফার্স্ট পেজ ইজ পিড সিম্পল উই হ্যাভ টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট এ কোয়ান্টিটি ইজ কোয়ান্টিটি ইজ বেসিকলি something that is measurable quantity is something that is measurable anything that can be measured is something that can be defined as a quantity for example you can measure mass you can measure volume you can measure a length you can measure cross surface area you can measure the velocity of an object you can measure the force of an object you can measure magnetic field strength you can measure current anything that you can measure is called a quantity anything that you cannot measure should not be a quantity for example beauty love honesty i mean Fair and lovely company do come with a measurement quantity for beauty. I mean, there is uh, different shades of skin tone, but that's not a quantity. If you get my point. That was a bit of a joke, by the way. And then we have unit. Unit is essentially the standard using which we measure a quantity. For example, uh, quantity physics there are seven base quantities. You know these stuff from your all levels. Uh, namely, they are uh, length, time, mass, temperature, current, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. The relevant units uh, are base quantity. We have meter, kilogram, second, Kelvin, ampere, candela, and amount of substance, mole, m. So, we have to say that 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 we have to say actually uh, derive kore bear kori hold on give me a moment i need to do something Sorry, I'm back. <coughs> so, a a quantity syllabus is altogether a syllabus is a length, mass, time, current. a Luminous intensity is the level of 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 the of the definition of the stuffs. of the definition of the stuffs? of the level 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 of the 
I think so. As a poor genius, just as the shadow derived quantity is in derived kidneys, you know this stuff. So, that's a derived limited with the genius as shadow say. She am other people lecture as way. Different, different, complicated derived unit case, other base unit conversion or kitchu working on the paper two dashi about paper one and wash it. So, Ojinis Gula, I'm other court the part of the hobby. Okay, I could have another Shikabo. Don't worry about this. So, it will come in in in, in in the process. And then we have a power of 10 chart. A power of 10 chart of the mother monarchal like bay. जे कौन वार्डिंग है सिंबल की ये वंग शेटर टेनर पावर इक्विवेलेंट कहते हो। फॉर एक्साम्पल टेन दिन बाद जीरो होते हैं वन, व्हिच इज़ यूनिट। ये पर टेन दिन बाद थ्री थ्री करे बार से। सो ऊपर दिखे बाद तेरे टेन दिन बाद थ्री होते हैं किलो, किलो और के होते हैं स्मॉल के। इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट दैट यू किलोग्राम। इफ यू राइट कैपिटल के स्मॉल जी, दैट मींस केल्विन ग्राम। दे नॉट द सेम थिंग। बुझा अच्छे। फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू राइट स्मॉल एम स्मॉल एम, दैट इज मिलीमीटर। इफ यू राइट कैपिटल एम स्मॉल एम, कैपिटल एम होती किसे जोनो? मेगा जोनो। दैट मींस मेगा मीटर। इफ यू वंडर मेगा मीटर ह if these all of these all of these prefixes can be equally used for all the for all the quantities irrespective so you have kilo you have mega then you have giga you have tera peta and on the lower side uh, after 10 to the power 0 we have deci and 10 to the minus 1 deci amader usually lage na decimeter ki tomader chemistry te literate definition e lagte pare typically for water 1 liter of water means 1 decimeter cube of water oi ta tomader molar calculation er ekta part e aste pare but physics e amra decimeter ekebare use kori na lage na centi ekhon amra commonly use kori 100 means centi 10 to the minus 2 then we have milli so i have written uh, 10 to the 0 er por ei dui ta hocche additional ei je ekhane dekho 3 3 kore power barche 10 to the power minus 3 hocche milli ebong er por theke 3 3 kore power komte thakbe चीजी को ये नंबर कौन-कौन से हैं? चीजी को ये पार कौन-कौन से हैं? सो तीन जो मानसिक होते हैं मिली, मानसिक होते हैं माइक्रो, नैनो, पिको, फेम्टो। दे आर मोर अबाव दिस। आई थिंक दे आर थ्री और फोर मोर लेवल्स अबाव दिस इन द इंटरनेशनल स्केल एंड दे आर थ्री मोर, थ्री और फोर मोर लेवल्स बिलो दिस एस वेल you don't need those stuff for our syllabus we will be pretty much working up to the pico over here and we'll be pretty much working up to the tera over here ये चीज़ तो छोटो यूज़ली हमारे लागे ना yes it is necessary to memorize this or you can essentially other than memorizing this all together you can have this you can know what this thing is and every once in a while you feel confused come back to this and have a look one of the one of the most effective way I mean believe it or not is to memorize something is to Look at it and use it most often. I am going to give a simple example. I am going to say that 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 different different steps से मनो करो दो या तीन या अब तो चार्ट अपन तो different different formula apply करे एक टाइम मैथ के size आनता है so अम्म मैं बोलता हूँ सर ऐसे गुलाब formula में क्यों है मुझे तो करो तो सारा मंदिर जितने बोलते हो main formula से होते हैं छोटा छोटा formula के विभिन्न भावे नाना चेहरा करे आमदे अनेक गुलाब call लड़े हुए से मोट मिला formula से होते हैं तेज़ � formula output की होगे शेर मुगो सकर दाखना every single time you have to use a formula come back to your formula sheet take a good look at the formula sheet and देखे देखे तुम्हें formula use करो अंको chapter पूरा वो एक बार शेष करते करो तो हम सब बोला formula मुगो सकर जाएगा and it literally happened other than putting your extra effort to literally memorize something in your in your in your photography memory is not worth it in my opinion if you know that you are going to use it a lot in the upcoming future not in tests, obviously, in your practices. Test test show me to toma ke ar reference paper dibe na. Don toma re mona rakhai lagbe. So you can essentially memorize this, or you can use it every once in a while. You get stuck and eventually come back to this. A notification gula amader lagye. A tenre power gula amader mathematical calculation or lagye. Amader MCQ to exclusively onesh show me ashe. So it a table ta amader door kar. Ache a par macho lastise hoche no tu discussion hai. Shita hoche a a pon toma all over samar amari janta. नो तो डिस्कशन है फर्स्ट टाइम मैं जिन्हें इस्टा बोल बोल शेरो छे जे एक ने एक तरह जिन्हें लिखा नहीं आ मैं वो जिन्हें इस्टा का एक टू बोली देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ 
math two type of data one is something that you, that you call raw data or that is also called uh, raw data or kono naam ache accumulated data yes so the one of the type of data is called raw data or accumulated data and the other type of data is called calculated data jano ami tomaderke khub simple ekta example bolte si try and understand this thing tumi jodi mone koro tomake ekta sphere dewa ache mone kore sir you have provided a marble marble made up from glass tumi tomar kache available equipment ache hocche ekta screw gauge ekta vernier calipers আর আছে হচ্ছে একটা মেজারিং সিলিন্ডার উইথ সাম ওয়াটার ইন ইট তোমাকে বললাম এটার ভলিউম বাড়ি করতে বরং কথা বুঝতেছ ঠিক আছে তোমার কাছে কী কী ইকুইপমেন্ট আছে ইউ হ্যাভ স্লাইড ক্যালিপার্স হুচি অসো কলে ভার্নিয়ার ক্যালিপার্স ইউ ইউ হ্যাভ হাউ ক্যান আই মিউট অল get elsewhere. Samir Ashraf, thank you for your help. Uh, I actually know that I can mute all or I can usually mute a person. I was looking for mute all of this option, but I am having a bit, uh, I'm not yet 100% acquainted with what to find where. So I was trying to bring up this window. So I then remembered that it is pulled out for by clicking this icon. So it's gonna, it's gonna come faster. So uh, hopefully that will work. So we have the types of error. Uh, so we have, two, we, have, we have primarily two types of data. We have the, we have the uh, raw data or accumulated data. And then we have the calculated data. So the, ex the example that I was pulling by is that let's say you are given a sphere. You are given a marble. Let's say glass sphere. So, and, and you have a vernier calipers. You have a screw gauge. And then you have, a, you have a measuring cylinder with some water. So if you are asked to, measure, uh, to, get, to find, the, find the volume, I'm not asking you to calculate or, or, or measure. If you were asked to ca ca find the volume of the, that marble, there are many different ways you can do this. Yeah, try to understand. Using a vernier calipers, you can measure one specific dimension of this sphere. What is the dimension? Think. What is the physical property or dimension that you can measure using a vernier calipers for a marble? 2D. 2R, you mean? সেন্টার অফ দ মার্বল টু দ্য সাইড So you can essentially measure diameter. That is the only length measurement that you can achieve using a vernier calipers or a screw gauge. So the diameter is the raw data out of this thing. If a diameter is the raw data out of this thing, what you can do is you can do is you can do is calculated data. You can divide it by 2 to get the radius. You can do 4 by 3 pi r cube to get the volume. So your radius is a calculated number. Your volume is also a calculated number. A difference take bujha jatse. Using a vernier calipers you cannot measure the volume of a sphere. 
Using a vernier calipers, you can measure the diameter of a sphere and then calculate the volume. Get this sentence. I mean, about this. Using a vernier calipers, you cannot measure the volume of a sphere. You can measure the diameter of a sphere, and from the diameter, you can calculate the volume of the sphere. So the diameter in this case is what we call raw data, which is measured, and volume in this case is what we call calculated data, which is calculated through some mathematical equation. So the reason I'm highlighting these two parts is to give you uh, an idea of what is called uncertainty. Jita madhi tu pare ashbe. Agar to ei concept to mathe rakho, we're gonna go by, uh, we're gonna bring up this idea a bit later as well. So ekhen amader dui type error kotha bolsi. Types of error chhe, one type chhe random error, one type chhe systematic error. So whenever we do any measurement, actual measurement, not calculation, we can we are susceptible to two types of error. Definition dekho. Random error is the type of error which makes the reading deviate on both sides of the actual value. So random error can make a certain measurement more than the original reading or it can make the measurement less than the original reading. One of the most common example is the human error for measurement of length. Human error kiro kom, mano kar tu mera certain object length measure korba, to mar onak gulam error source hoyte ba, jano chhe ekta chhe error happening due to parallax. Pulo ando magi parallax se concept bujho. Do all of you understand what, what parallax error is? If any of you don't understand what it is, right over here I'll explain. This is a good time to respond. Anyone, anyone, if you have difficulty understanding what a parallax error is. <coughs> so, uh, we, uh, so parallax error is, is, is one of the type and then we can have human error while measuring time. Human error while measuring time is one of the biggest source of error in time measurement for human error because we human being has a very large reaction time. Very large reaction time means that our typical reaction time idea to know that once we sense the impulse to do anything that information has to be biochemically processed in our brain <laughs> and that has to uh, that has to uh, go through our muscle uh, nervous system to uh, affect some of the muscles only then can we perform some action so chemically biochemically got not a hotter juno kiss at a certain number of time dog typical at a healthy uh, regular age for example let's say a uh, young uh, person uh, who is well rested typical reaction time hot she somewhere around 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 seconds or average we can say 0 0.3 second human reaction time can be as small as 0 0.1 seconds for really hyper hyper uh, when really hypersonic human beings really good really really well capable human beings so it can be as low as uh, so or, or it can be as sloppy as uh, 0 0.6 0 0.8 something like that typically whenever we use human reaction time for our calculation we typically go for 0.3 for one human reaction incident now this is an important bit what i mean by one human reaction incident I, i'm gonna cover that up in a bit so human human error while measuring the time is a very large source of uh, 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 random error human error you know reading and error due to reaction now so human error uh, human error is also called personal error Apart from human error, devices can also make random error. Usually, it this is quite rare. Random error is usually done by personal error or human error. But sometimes, apart as take a mother gives random error with a pare. Example time, put this and same example. For example, error while measuring volume using measuring cylinder on different days can give positive or negative error in reading depending on temperature of the lab that day. Age is a mother get a buddhist buddhai. On the edit a measuring cylinder, normal measuring cylinder. A measuring cylinder figure at a high definition. Now zoom color of Fred. Let me find out a high definition figure. Exactly. A 
एवरीवन तुम्हारे नाम लेखो एवरीवन व्हाट इज योर नेम दिस किड এটা কে স্যার স্যার করছি 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 আমি হাফিজ আমি হাফিজ আচ্ছা 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 কই কই কে বলে তুমি বল আমি করে দিচ্ছি সমস্যা নাই অর ইউ ক্যান ডু দিস ইয়ার অন এজ ওয়েল স্যার পাচ্ছি আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে করো আই উড লাইক টু টেক এ স্মল অ্যাটেন্ডেন্স থিং এ আসে কয় তারিখ দুই তারিখ এটাকে রেডমি এদিকে নদিতা to the attendance which is good so let's go well, let's get back to the image that we are discussing by so i would take this image copy image ognila raida okay বেস্ট পার্ট আবার অনলাইন ক্লাসেস ইজ দ্যাট আই ক্যান বি ভেরি ক্যাজুয়াল অ্যাবাউট দিস ফর এক্সাম্পল হ্যাঁ আমি লুঙ্গি পরে ক্লাস নিতেছি ইফ ইউ সো গুড র্যান্ডম জোকস ইরিটেটিং সো এখানে দেখো দিস ইজ হাও টিপিক্যাল মেডিসিন লুকস দিস ইজ এ প্লাস্টিক মেডিসিন সিলিন্ডার আমি দ্য রিজন আই পিক আপ হাই রেজন ফিগার ইস টু শো ইউ দিস ইনফরমেশন হ্যাভ এ লুক what does it read in 20 degree celsius plus minus 1 milliliter mane hocche ekhane amader je calibration ta ache calibration mane hocche the markings that are that are made on the measuring device this is what we call calibration ei calibration er property hocche amader 20 degree celsius e amader any measurement that we take out of this measuring cylinder will have a plus minus 1 milliliter error মানে হচ্ছে মনে করো কোনো একটা সার্টেন কেসে তুমি এটাতে কিছু লিকুইড ভরলা ফর এক্সাম্পল এখানে আমাদের এইটু পর্যন্ত লিকুইড ভরা আছে অ্যাপারেন্টলি দিস লিকুইড ইজ টাচিং আপ টু দ্য টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ সেন্টিমিটার সরি থার্টি থার্টি মিলিলিটার মার্ক থার্টি মিলিলিটার মার্ক সো লেস দ্য টু মিনিটস আচ্ছা ঠিক থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংকস ফর দ্য থ্যাংকস ফর দ্য রিমাইন্ডার সো এটা হচ্ছে আমাদের এই সময়কার মার্ক সো হোয়াট উই ক্যান ডু উই ক্যান টেক আউট টেক দিস রিডিং অ্যান্ড উই ক্যান টেক দিস রিডিং 
we can take this reading and that reading would be 30 plus minus 1 milliliter plus minus 1 মানে হচ্ছে আমাদের রিডিংটা এর থেকে 1 মিলিটার কম বা বেশি হতে পারে এই প্লাস মাইনাস 1 মিলিলিটারটা হচ্ছে আমাদের র‍্যান্ডম এরর যে এটার জন্য আমাদের রিডিং অ্যাকচুয়াল যে ভলিউম তার থেকে 1 মিলিলিটার বেশি হতে পারে 1 মিলিটার কম হতে পারে দিস ইজ ওয়ান অফ দা মেজারমেন্ট দিস ইজ ওয়ান অফ দা ওয়ান অফ দা ওয়ান অফ দা রিপ্রেজেন্টেশন অফ হাউ প্রিসাইজ দিস ইনস্ট্রুমেন্ট ইজ দিস ইনস্ট্রুমেন্ট এই ইনস্ট্রুমেন্টের স্মলেস্ট লেন্থ এর বা স্মলেস্ট মেজারিং মেজারিং সাইজের মেজারিং অ্যামাউন্ট হচ্ছে 1 মিলিলিটার ইচ অফ দা স্মলেস্ট ডিভিশন রিপ্রেজেন্ট 1 মিলিলিটার so all the readings that you can take any single reading will have an error of plus minus 1 milliliter chero kokhon 20 degree celsius e ah acha boltechi ektu daro ami ami disconnect kore abar reconnect kortechi I'm just waiting for this counter to reach uh, somewhere close to 40 so that I, I'll start discussing again. Okay, I'm going to time your price change. However, we will finish in a bit. Uh, I'm not going to hold you long. Just I'm going to do this decision to go to the decision to go to the don't worry. So, plus or minus count. Korbo. To be honest, you cannot specifically say plus or minus. The way we express this measurement is that any reading that you can take over here can be plus minus 1 milliliter more or less. What, are, what we are trying to mean? In this case, we have a water level of 30 milliliter mark. So, that would imply that our reading is 30 ml plus minus 1 ml. It means that this measurement is maximum possible value 31 ml hoyte pare er beshi hobe na minimum possible volume 29 ml hoyte pare er beshi hobe na so we are giving a practical range for the measurement we cannot specify the exact volume because to measure the exact volume would require that you know the actual true value volume occupied by the exactly all of those water molecules over here but that might not be the case because every measuring equipment has some limitation of its own it are precision are infinite now it a limitation would say it a accumulator position to smallest division the barbe so we are gonna write express the information over here we're not gonna essentially do the subtraction physically and I'm going to show about what is the water volume over here we have to write the water volume in this format exactly this water volume is 30 milliliter plus minus 1 milliliter their physical significance I would say have a look रैंडमेंट বুঝছো কি বলছে আচ্ছা আমি আরো একটু আলাপ করি ওভার দ্য টাইম এগুলো আরো আরো ক্লিয়ার হবে ডোন্ট ওরি अबाउट দিস সো এটা হচ্ছে একটা পার্ট হ্যাঁ বলো স্যার 20 ডিগ্রিতে হয় না হ্যাঁ 20 ডিগ্রিতে কি হয় হ্যাঁ 20 ডিগ্রিতে কি হয় সেই জিনিসটা আলাপ করতেছি আমি এই জিনিসটা আলাপ করার জন্য এখানে আসি আমি জাস্ট 1 মিলিলিটারের সিগনিফিক্যান্সটা একটু আলাপ করলাম বিকজ ইট ওয়াজ রিলেভেন্ট 20 ডিগ্রির প্রপার্টিটা হচ্ছে 
এই ডিভাইসটা যে ল্যাবরেটরিতে বা যে ফ্যাক্টরিতে বানানো হয়েছে ওই ফ্যাক্টরির ইনসাইড টেম্পারেচার টোয়েন্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াসে মেনটেন করা হয়েছে তার মানে হচ্ছে ওয়েন দিস প্রিন্টিং ওয়াজ ডান অন টু দিস অন টু দিস মেজারিং সিলিন্ডার দ্য টেম্পারেচার অফ দ্য ল্যাবরেটরি ওয়াজ মেনটেন অ্যাট টোয়েন্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস হুইচ মিনস দ্য ইনসাইড ভলিউম অফ দিস মেজারিং সিলিন্ডার ইজ অ্যাকুরেট ওয়েন এভার ইয়োর টেম্পারেচার অফ দ্য সারাউন্ডিং ইজ টোয়েন্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস এক্সক্লুসিভলি অ্যাট টোয়েন্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস দিস মেজারিং সিলিন্ডার ইজ ক্যাপেবল অফ গিভিং অ্যান অ্যাপ্রোপ্রিয়েট রিডিং সো তোমার সারাউন্ডিং এর টেম্পারেচার যদি টোয়েন্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস না হয় দেন এসেন্সিয়ালি তোমার এই রিডিংগুলোতে কিছু ভুল আসবে কীরকম ভুল আসবে আমি জিনিসটা বুঝাই মনে করো জিনিসটা ট্রা টু কনসিডার দ্য ইফেক্টস ওভার হিয়ার মনে করো তুমি এই মেজারিং সিলিন্ডারটাকে একটা ল্যাব ল্যাব রুম ইউজ করছো যে ল্যাব রুমের টেম্পারেচার হচ্ছে থার্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস অ্যান্ড থার্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস হওয়ার এসেন্সিয়াল মিনিং কি দিস ইজ হায়ার দ্যান দ্য টোয়েন্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস তার মানে এখন আমাদের এই মেজারিং সিলিন্ডারটা কিছু হলো এক্সপ্যান্ড করবে সো দ্য ইনসাইড ভলিউম অফ দ্য মেজারিং সিলিন্ডার উড বি বিগার দ্যান হোয়াট ইট ইজ সাপোজ টু বি ট্রাই টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড মনে করো টোয়েন্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস আমাদের কস্টেশন এটা হওয়ার কথা এতটুকু বড় দিস ফিগার ইজ নট ডন টু স্কেল অ্যাট থার্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াসে এটা ইনসাইড ইনসাইড কস্টেশন এটা মনে করো একটুখানি বড় হয়ে গেছে ফিগার নট ডন টু স্কেল সো বাট দের বি সাম হোয়াট ইনক্রিজ ভলিউম তার মানে হচ্ছে এক্স্যাক্টলি একটা ফিক্স ভলিউম অফ ভলিউম অফ ওয়াটার যতটুকু হাইট রেস করার কথা যেহেতু ক্রসেশন এরিয়া বড় হয়ে গেছে তার থেকে কম হাইট রেস করবে করবে কিনা মানে এক্সাক্ট থার্টি এম এল লিটার থার্টি এম এল ওয়াটার তুমি যদি এখানে পোর করো অ্যাট থার্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস দিস দিস মাইট রিচ আপ টু টোয়েন্টি এইট অর দিস মাইট রিচ আপ টু টোয়েন্টি নাইন সামথিং লাইক দ্যাট দ্যাটস পসিবল ডাজ ইট মেক সেন্স সো দিস ইজ দ্য প্রি রিকুইজেট ফর হ্যাঁ বলো ওয়াটার ভলিউম ইনক্রিজ করবে ওয়াটার ওয়াটার ভলিউম ইনক্রিজ করবে বাট ইফ ইউ আর ট্রাই টু মেজার দ্য এক্সেক্ট ভলিউম অফ দ্য ওয়াটার অ্যাট দ্যাট টেম্পারেচার ইউ আর নট গোনা বি এবল টু মেজার দ্যাট এক্সেক্ট ভলিউম অফ দ্য ওয়াটার ইভেন অ্যাট দ্যাট হাই টেম্পারেচার থার্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াসে ওয়াটারের যে এক্সেক্ট ভলিউম সেটা তুমি পারফেক্টলি মেজার করতে পারবে না কারণ তোমার মেজারিং সিলিন্ডারের ইনসাইড ভলিউম থার্টি ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াসের জন্য অপটিমাইজ না ওয়াটার ভলিউম ইনক্রিজ করবে ট্রু বাট ইউ ক্যানট সে দ্যাট দ্য এক্সপ্যানশন অ্যামাউন্ট অফ দ্য মেজারিং সিলিন্ডার অ্যান্ড দ্য এক্সপ্যানশন অ্যামাউন্ট অফ দ্য অফ দ্য ইনসাইড দ্য সিলিন্ডার uh of the of water and, and the cylinder they are exactly same you cannot say that right make sense yes sir acha so <sighs> that explains the minus but what about the plus acha ha bolte si je plus ta hocche just ulta kono ekta mone kore same measuring cylinder jodi ami kono ekta thanda shomoy shit kale jodi 10 degree celsius e ekta room e apply kori ba shiter deshe jodi keu eta outdoor e use korte chay volume measurement er jonno out where the temperature is 10 degree celsius tohon je ulta ta hobe তখন আমাদের ভলিউম অ্যাকচুয়ালি যতটুকু হওয়ার কথা ইনসাইড কস্টেশন এরিয়া তার থেকে কিছু ছোট হবে তার মানে অ্যাকচুয়ালি হাইট রেস যতটুকু হওয়ার কথা অ্যাকচুয়াল হাইট রেস তার থেকে বেশি হবে মানে ইন দ্যাট কেস ইফ দ্য টেম্পারেচার ইজ লোয়ার দ্যান দ্য রেকমেন্ডেড টেম্পারেচার দেন ইউ ক্যান হ্যাভ এ বিট হায়ার ভলিউম দ্যান হোয়াট ইউর হোয়াট ইউ শুড গেট সো ইউ ক্যান হ্যাভ সাম আদার টাইপ অফ এয়ার হুই দিস মিনস ইফ ইউ ইউজ দিস মেজারিং সিলিন্ডার ফর আ লং এক্সপেরিমেন্ট ফর এক্সাম্পল ইউ আর গোনা ট্রাই টু মেজার দ্য অ্যামাউন্ট অফ রেইন অর অ্যামাউন্ট অফ প্রিসিপিটেশন uh rain is on top of precipitation amount of precipitation from the atmosphere over a year for a certain geographic location so that you are going to measure your uh, uh, uh water amount outside outside your lab it's not a controlled environment you will be subjected to the change of temperature and because of this temperature if your temperature varies above and below 10 20 degrees celsius you're going to have two type of readings re- reading variation at temperatures higher than 30 degrees celsius your measurement readings will be somewhat smaller than what you are supposed to measure at temperatures lower than 10 degrees celsius your temperatures are going to be somewhat higher than what you are supposed to measure so in this case this apparatus itself is also introducing some random error because this variation of temperature is capable to make the reading amount go above the actual volume it can also make the uh, am- uh, reading go below the actual volume so this is a type of this is a type of random error which is capable of deviate the reading on both sides of the measurement do i make sense bolo man ektu respond karo yes sir yes sir okay if you have any question you can ask in the in the in the chat window or you can ask uh, just by using your voice input no problem So what I'm trying to mean over here exclusively is that 
it is also possible for equipments to introduce random error but this is quite rare for example measuring cylinder er ekta example e ami ekhane tomader dite parlam onno kono equipment amader ke random error dibe kina eta ami exclusively onno kono equipment er jonno tomader specifically bolte partechi na typically equipments theke amader je problem guli hote pare most common problem shegulo ke amra boli systematic error systematic error different definition ta dekho causes readings to always deviate in one direction always more or always less than the true value এটার মেন প্রবলেম হচ্ছে যদি আমাদের ক্যালিব্রেশন স্কেল ভুল হয় ক্যালিব্রেশন স্কেল ভুল মানে কীরকম যেমন মনে করো এই মেজারিং সিলিন্ডারের জন্য যদি আলাপ করি মনে করো এই মেজারিং সিলিন্ডারটা যখন বানানো হয়েছে কই হলো এই মেজারিং সিলিন্ডারে যখন বানানো হয়েছে মেজারিং সিলিন্ডারের এই এটা তো একটা স্টিকার প্যাকচুয়ালি স্টিকারটাকে প্রপারলি এখানে ঠিক জায়গা মতো বসানো আছে মনে করো কোনো একটা কারণে এই এন্টায়ার স্টিকারটা এই এন্টায়ার স্টিকারটা সামহাট একটু উপরে বসে গেছে যেখানে বসা কথা তার থেকে একটু উপরে বসে গেছে সো আই মুভ দ্য এন্টায়ার স্কেল এ বিট আপ ডি ডু সি দ্যাট মুভিং ইট এ লিটল বিট আপ মনে করো একটু ভুলের জন্য ম্যানুফ্যাকচারিং করার সময় আমাদের এই ভুলটা হয়েছে তার মানে কি হবে অ্যাকচুয়ালি ওয়াটার এখানে থাকলে যতটুকু ভলিউম হওয়ার কথা তুমি তার থেকে সবসময় কিছু বেশি ভলিউম মেজার করবা না বেশি না কম মেজার করবা বিকজ লেটস এ দ্য লেভেল অফ এ অফ এ ওয়াটার ইজ ওভার হিয়ার সো দ্য স্কেল ওয়াজ সো নাও ইউ আর গান মেজার লেটস এ ফিফটি টু এম এল বাট ইউ আর সাপোজ টু মেজার মোর দ্যান ফিফটি টু এম এল বিকজ দিস এন্টার স্কেল ওয়াজ সাপোজ টু বি সাম হোয়ার ডাউন so if you have some built in error in your device that will always make your data either somewhat more than true value or somewhat less than true value and that variation will, will be a constant it will not be sometimes more sometimes less it will be always more or it will be always less farha tomar question ektu pore ashte si just wait a minute so this is the type of error that we call systematic error which is typically introduced from the device so that's how that's what we have defined over here je causes readings to always deviate in one direction always more or always less than the true value for example zero error in a screw gauge will always give slightly longer reading for positive error or slightly shorter reading for negative error tumra macimeter screw gauge zero error por so level so por so na shobai zero error ta por so zero error property hocche error should always be subtracted tar mane error itself jodi positive hoy tale eta actually subtract hoy তার মানে আমরা যদি সামহাও ওই সাবটেকশনটা করতে ভুলে যাই তার মানে আমার প্রত মনে করো আমি জিরো এর ক্যালকুলেশনটা করতে ভুলে গেছি আমি একটা একটা মাইক্রোমিটার স্ক্রোজ নিয়ে ডিরেক্টলি রিং নিয়ে ডিরেক্টলি রিং লিখে দিয়েছি জিরো এরটা ক্যালকুলেট করার কথা আমার মনে নাই তার মানে ওখানে যদি পজিটিভ এরর থাকে ডিভাইসে তাহলে আমার সবগুলো রিডিংই অ্যাকচুয়াল রিডিং এর থেকে কিছু কিছু বেশি আসবে আর যদি ওই ডিভা ওই মাইক্রোমিটার স্ক্রোজ যদি নেগেটিভ এরর থেকে থাকে তাহলে সবগুলো রিডিংয়ে অ্যাকচুয়াল রিডিং থেকে কিছু কিছু কম আসবে দিস ইজ হোয়াট ইউ ডিফাইন এস সিস্টেমেটিক এরর হুইচ উইল অলওয়েজ কজ ইউর রিডিংস টু শিফট ইন টু ওয়ান ডিরেকশন আইদার সামহট লেস অলওয়েজ or somewhat more always at a systematic errors usually result from faulty instruments that fault can be manufacturing fault that fault can be a fault developed over a long period of time that can be fault can be developed by wrong usage or rough usage or something like that acha ekhane niche dui ta bullet ache dui ta bullet khub important dekho to avoid random errors we must repeat an average repeat an average kole je jinish ta hoy je mone koro tumi ekta certain mone koro hocche tumi ekta certain এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করতেছো যেমন তোমাকে খুব সিম্পল একটা এক্সাম্পল বলি যেখানে রিপিট অ্যান্ড অ্যাভারেজ খুব রিলেভেন্ট মনে করো তুমি একটা সিম্পল পেন্ডুলামের একটা ফিক্সড লেংথ অফ স্ট্রিংয়ের জন্য তুমি অসোলেশনের টাইম পিরিয়ড মেজার করবা তো আমরা অসোলেশন টাইম পিরিয়ড করার জন্য সবসময় যেটা রেকমেন্ড করি যে এই শুড টেক অ্যাটলিস্ট টেন অসোলেশনস অ্যান্ড টেন অসোলেশন শুড বি মেজার্ড অ্যাটলিস্ট টোয়াইস এটা তোমাদের পি থ্রি রিকোয়ারমেন্ট যে এনি টাইম মেজারমেন্ট ডান বাই দ্য স্টুডেন্ট শুড বি ডান ফর অ্যাটলিস্ট টেন রিপিটেশনস অন ইটস ওন and that measurement should be also done twice idea ta hocche erokom je tumi jodi ekta certain measurement ekbar er jaygay 100 bar koro statistically we can expect that for the case of random error out of this 100 measurement statistically i am speaking it's not a one it's not a exact science it's a statistical science so uh, statistically we can expect that 50 of the readings might have a plus error and random error and 50 of the readings might have a minus error so whenever you do repeat an average you can more or less compensate the errors on both sides whereas tumi jodi repeat an average na koro mane koro tumi ekta ekta jinish reading ekbare nila ote likhe dila tale oi ekbare je reading ta hole seta tumi compensate korte parla na kintu ekbare je tumi shudhu dui bar nao now you cannot essentially say je dui bar er moddhe amar equal distribution howa possible it is possible that dui bar e tomar positive error hote pare so tumi repeat an average joto beshi bar korba tomar random error minimization মিনিমাইজেশন তত তত বেশি এফেক্টিভলি হবে সো দ্য ফার্দার ইউ রিপিট আ সিঙ্গেল রিডিং দ্য মোর ইউ বি এবল টু গেট রিড অফ ইউর র্যান্ডম এরর দিস ইজ দ্য ওয়ান দিস ইজ দ্য ওনলি ইফেক্টিভ ওয়ে টু গেট রিড অফ র্যান্ডম এরর্স অ্যান্ড দ্য ইজ নো আদার ওয়ে নাম্বার সেকেন্ড বুলেটে যেটা আছে 
To avoid systematic errors, we must check the instrument before use and correct each reading accordingly. Jamon hot touches, Jamon act example of a screw got a zero error. Bahut check on a show matter, actor, 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 Sorry, 937. Oh, so, two more minutes. Monaco, it is an analog emitter director view. A analog emitter is a common decan at a pin assay, a pinta a pinta. The amra can measure a million payment. A can the head eject a square motor at a button asana. A square motor button to say a mother a pinta ke. All pick to left by right a short or journal. Monogoro to Johanna, the emitter of Nakono current Nadibo, the Hana mother A indicator perfectly zero the align Horgotha. Judith Konoka perfectly zero the align Nahoi, Ton Etake all put to Gurai Gurai, the left by right a Gurai, I'm not a zero the align Kota. This is what you call an, call an adjustment screw. So adjustment screw is square, I'm not agent to achieve put the barbo. So there is no big deal. So eight type device will use square by eight type option tackle, she will use square, I'm not a system indicator, okay, get it Kota. Achha, one more question which I'm gonna address and then we'll call it a day. Farha asked a question question says, sir, at varied temperature, should we also write plus minus one? Achha, if we do undergo this kind of a trouble that we have a varied temperature and we have this kind of problem that I just discussed in the first part of the question, we should preferably avoid having temperature that is not at 20 degrees Celsius. Or in other words, if you are using, if you have to do your experiment, over in, in if you have to do your experiment in an in, a, in an environment where you cannot control the temperature then you should preferably use some other type of measurement devices where you can effectively employ some volume some temperature relevant corrections a device you know temperature relevant corrections for every day every one degree temperature is more or less Compared to the 20 degrees Celsius, I'm the Kotuku correction. I'm the measurement at Kurta Shetakon or Gomination, which means this device is optimized for 20 degrees Celsius period. Anything higher or lower, it is just errorful. How much errorful you cannot say for sure. Well, you can essentially measure this through your efforts uh, with time, but the device itself does not give any option. So, in this case, in those cases, you should preferably use a different device where you can do that calculation uh, uh, calculation to get rid of those errors you cannot essentially say that this is plus or minus one this plus or minus one is relevant to the smallest division of the device which is sometimes called precision uh, of the device sometimes or or jetamra jetamra all levels of thermometer region no sensitivity do you remember this term thermometer sensitivity term it was about how many divisions can we have uh, in a thermometer if you have a bigger number of divisions for a small temperature, then you have more sensitive and vice versa. So this one milliliter is about how small the calibration is. From the calibration, you can only measure up to one milliliter and not anymore. Did I get your question answered? Fariha Alam Bushra, did, did I get your question answered? okay so that's pretty much uh, it for today's class from tomorrow i will start discussing about these topics and uh, i might actually give you the worksheets to start with some actual working so thank you everyone for coming by uh, thanks for your patience thanks for bearing with my really poor and poor jokes and listening to all the blabbering that i provided i'll be uploading the uh, uploading the video in the uh, youtube channel pretty soon uh, the class is officially over you can leave thank you very much